we learned from Michael Cohen multiple facts and allegations relating to two different investigations centering around President Donald Trump and his conduct. One is an investigation into potential collusion between his campaign and Russia, and the other is about hush money payments made to two women who say they had sexual relationships with the president uh, a decade before the campaign. That's a matter that's under investigation in the Southern District of New York. In the Russia investigation, Michael Cohen testified that uh, he was present for a conversation in the summer of 2016 between then-candidate Donald Trump and a confidant, Roger Stone. It was a phone call in which Roger Stone said, WikiLeaks has these emails that would be harmful to Hillary Clinton, his Democratic opponent at the time, and that WikiLeaks planned to release those emails. Although Michael Cohen said that today to Congress under oath, it's important to note that Donald Trump has repeatedly said he had no knowledge of those emails prior to them being released. And so that, though that testimony obviously contradicts uh, the president's own statements, and Special Counsel Mueller has not specifically alleged that Trump had advanced knowledge of WikiLeaks' plan. So Michael Cohen arrived today at the hearing room with a check, and it's a check that, that bears the name of Donald Trump. And he presented this to the committee as what he said was evidence that the president had reimbursed him for the payments that he had made to Stormy Daniels. And so that's significant because you see the president's name, you see a check from him, and so it becomes clear that Donald Trump not only knew that Michael Cohen was going to be making these payments, but in fact agreed to reimburse him uh, afterwards. And so that becomes, for prosecutors, obviously key evidence that Donald Trump was intimately involved in these plans. And that, again, makes it harder for the president to to contest Cohen's allegations or to say that he had no knowledge of them. So Michael Cohen describes multiple different conversations that he says he had with the president about these payments. One occurs in February 2017 in the Oval Office where they're looking at uh, paintings and the president remarks to him, I know I owe you these reimbursements. I've put them in FedEx in New York and they're coming through the White House system and that might take some time. There was another conversation in February of 2018 before news broke about uh, these payments before Michael Cohen himself confirmed that he was involved in these payments in which they discussed how to basically massage the news for political purposes and Michael Cohen acknowledges that he removed and omitted the president's name from that statement to make it clear to the public that Trump was not involved in the payments and that he acknowledged today was misleading on his end and he said it was misleading because he had discussed it with the president about what he what he should say.